Are you struggling figuring out what to wear back to school? Well, today I'm going to show you 16 outfits that I'd wear if I was going back to college. What better way to start this video than with a trend I'm currently obsessed with, preppy chic. I swear the only reason I'm really obsessed with this trend is because I'm obsessed with my new low top Doc Martens and they go so well with this. I recently thrifted this brown plaid dress and I'm obsessed and it goes so well with tights. And I'm telling you, tights are going to be all the rage this fall. I'm talking ripped tights, tights with designs and even plain ones like these. I matched my socks with my hat. I'm not totally obsessed with this hat, but it still kind of works. And then I gave this neutral outfit a pop of color with this purse I thrifted. The next outfit is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm still kind of feeling it. I've noticed a lot of people wearing knee-high boots, so I decided to pair it with this pleated skirt that I thrifted the other day and this brown knit sweater from Maritzia. If the knee-high boots aren't your thing, you can also rock this with any pair of sneakers or Converse. Obviously, if you're going back to school, I would swap out the purse for a backpack, but I've thrown away all my backpacks since then, so I don't really have one. This skirt falls in line with the new preppy trend. I also paired it with this tiger eye necklace that you will see me wear with every single outfit. But a tip I heard from this other YouTuber called Lainey, she said take every piece of jewelry you own and put it on. I know I didn't really do this in this video, but trust me, that's a really good tip and I do do that on the daily. I really didn't know if this next outfit was considered preppy at all but I just put it in this section anyways. I just want to include an outfit with a trench coat in it because I think trench coats can be very versatile and trendy at the same time. This one's my mom so I'm not sure where it's from but you can definitely thrift really really good trench coats so take a look at your local thrift store. Once again pairing these with my Doc Martens and some thrifted jeans that I found a while back. I just put this all together with a really simple white tank top. I chose a cropped one but you don't have to if your school doesn't allow it you can just wear a regular tank top i feel like this outfit is something that most people will have in their wardrobe already so it makes it super easy oh my god this next outfit is my favorite outfit or one of them at least i may say that multiple times throughout this video but these are my holy grail cargo pants that i found at valley village and i was so happy i think everybody should have a pair of cargo pants in their closet this fall and the best part is you can definitely thrift them so you don't even need to buy them new i paired this with an asymmetrical tank top that's also nude because i wanted this outfit to be a more neutral tone outfit but you can really wear these cargo pants with anything sweaters tank tops crop tops t-shirts the list goes on i'm not gonna say it again but i paired these with my doc martens once again so you can tell how much i do love these shoes you can pair these with sneakers boots whatever sandals even i wore this little backpack with this outfit and this backpack is one of the thrift items that I'm really proud of. But yeah, this backpack ain't holding sh no books, no notebooks, no nothing. You're gonna end up needing to put your pens and pencils in your cargo pants pockets. Yeah, definitely not a good choice. I'm really getting cool construction worker vibes from this next outfit, but I don't know why I'm still feeling it. This vest was literally $4 from Valley Village, and it's from Old Navy, surprisingly enough. And I paired it with these thrifted Levi denims, and of course, the Doc Martens once again. I want to accessorize a bit more with this, but you can't really see necklaces and stuff, so I would recommend maybe wearing some bracelets, some rings, and pairing it with a hat. I felt like the hat might be a little too much. Even this outfit just as is is so comfortable and so chill it's definitely an outfit that doesn't look like you're trying too hard at it's just chill relaxed it is what it is guys this is another outfit i was hardcore feeling like look at these thrifted pants they were five dollars guys five dollars they're low waisted so you know that's on trend already from tiktok also paired with another trendy piece this baby tee that i also thrifted that day it says good girls go to heaven bad girls go to london and rhinestones on it the pants were giving me yeezy vibes so i paired it with my yeezy quantums which really level up any outfit you pair them with i think having a good pair of shoes can sometimes elevate your outfit so much without even accessorizing with anything else so yeah i just realized there was literal poo on my shoes so sorry for not cleaning them for the video i always struggle splurging on shoes like this so i need to get them as gifts because i will not buy them on my own i got this purse from aliexpress a really long time ago i'll try to find the link for you guys and put it down in the bio so I didn't know whether to put this outfit in the streetwear section or the comfy section because damn, this outfit is so comfy. It looks great still, but the dress pants, just so comfortable to hang out in all day. 
This pair is thrifted from Value Village. I noticed that thrift stores have a lot of dress pants, so it's definitely not scarce. It's pretty easy to find. This hat is back. I don't know if I even like this hat, but I thought it kind of worked, but I would probably not wear it, to be honest. I know I probably shouldn't say that because I did include it in the video, but it's kind of hit or miss. I don't know. I paired these with my dog sandals just to switch it up a bit. And this center stage tank top that I cut, it's literally from a dance studio but I love the angel wings on the back, so I had to get it. I also kind of cut it bad, but whatever. And you guys know the drill. I paired it with my tiger eye necklace and this other cross-like necklace. You guys knew I had to include sweatpants in this outfit video because let's be real, I'll be mostly living in sweatpants this fall, so I can't act like I'm not gonna be. I kind of added some spice by choosing red sweatpants instead of the basic black, gray, or white. I actually got these on sale for $35 at Aritzia, so it was a super good deal. I paired these with some Converse, which is one of my favorite shoes actually because it's so versatile and it makes every outfit look cooler. The key is to definitely add some jewelry. I might have not even added enough jewelry to this outfit. Instead, I added these blue light glasses because I think glasses are so cute, but I don't wear them. So yeah, these will do. But yeah, even one of those waist chains, like the ones they sell on Shein, it would be so cute with this and would just elevate it a little bit more. I don't even know what this next outfit is, but I'm kind of liking it because it's so chill, so cozy, and yeah, it just gives those vibes off. The sweater is thrifted out of the men's section. It's kind of like a fleece corduroy vibe. I paired them with those vintage Levi's once again. These are one of my most go-to jeans, I would say. And some classic Air Force Ones. You can't go wrong with Air Force Ones. I added a pop of color with this green purse that I also thrifted. It's in that style once again that's super slouchy and it fits a lot of stuff, so I really happy with it i've actually yet to use this purse in real life but now that i paired it with this maybe i'll put it together next time i go out something about this outfit just makes me want to sit down and watch a movie and be chill all day while still looking kind of cute and look guys misu came to say hi Okay, for this next outfit, I was trying to play with the idea of wearing something super simple and just leveling it up with a bright and colorful hat. I switched out the pink thrifted beanie for this blue thrifted cap. It says Los Angeles on it. It's one of my favorites. And switched it out for my boyfriend's brand's beanie, NTS. Unfortunately, you can't get the style anymore, but he has other styles now on his website. So if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description. That was a shameless boyfriend plug. I also took my super basic tank top and looped it over my head to make Make it look more asymmetrical and a little more complex i think it definitely added a lot to it it just looks so much cuter than just wearing it how it's supposed to be worn but yeah once again wearing this with converse and these are the jeans you saw earlier they're just thrifted buffalo jeans and then the purse is from shein these are super cute they don't fit that much so obviously you can't wear it to school but for a night out it's a great option i wasn't even planning on wearing this outfit in this video but i just randomly put it on and it looks so cute i feel like it's a mix of streetwear and classic classic because it's so classy yet it's still really cool and especially because i left the buttons at the bottom open i feel like it still gives a sexy feel these are my favorite five dollar pants once again and i paired it with the dock sandals this time with socks i'm really not sure if you guys are vibing with the socks and sandals look but sometimes i think it's cute and i don't know why I think the necklaces are a big part of this outfit, so I think the more necklaces you wear with this, the cuter it will be. I can't really pinpoint what vibe it's giving me, but whatever it is, I love it. I don't know why I felt so mom-esque in this outfit, but after I put the cardigan on, I started to really love it, surprisingly. I feel like it's a little bit of a mature outfit, but for some reason, it gives me such sexy vibes at the same time. Plus, did I not mention that this is the most comfortable outfit ever? This jumpsuit is from Maritzia, and listen, I reach for it so much, so it's definitely a staple in my closet, just because I love easy things. Like, I love an easy dress or an easy jumpsuit to just pull on, and whenever you put on a piece like this you just feel complete or elevated because it's just something a little bit out of the box but it's still really really simple i paired these with the boots which i've never done before but i was kind of low-key feeling it so i'm not mad at it oh yeah i almost forgot to mention this purse is also thrifted from the same value village i got the other two purses at but i got them on different occasions but once again it's kind of like the same style as the other two this cardigan i think is from h&m it's super simple it's a staple piece i have in my closet i've used this 
purchased over and over again so many times so it was definitely worth the purchase this next outfit is a different version of that dress pants and tank top outfit that i showed you guys earlier if you need something a little warmer something a little more conservative just pair it with your favorite knit sweater and it looks just as good but just a little bit more classy and a little bit more put together i still paired this with the same shoes and you can really pair it with any pair of shoes you can do sneakers you can do boots doesn't really matter as long as you're wearing a really nice sweater it will all pull together I had to throw in an all black outfit because it's not winter without one. I know we've been so used to the bright colors lately, but I feel like there will be a shift back into neutral. I have literally no proof that this is going to happen, but maybe I'm just going to do it. These pants are from Zara. They have slits at the front, so it gives kind of a more elevated look to the pants rather than just a classic black pair of dress pants. I also paired this with an off the shoulder black knit sweater from Maritzia. My shoes are these chunky boots I got from the Bay and they were on sale for literally, I think $30. So it was definitely a steal. Anyways, if you watched this far, thank you so much. I so appreciate it. I hope you got inspired by these outfits. Can please comment down below what your favorite fall trends are this season. I would love to hear it. If you want to see more of my outfits, follow me on Instagram. You can see what I wear on the daily. But yeah, that is it and I'll see you guys next week.